Okay, so right now we're heading to the mall in the Bahamas because I need to get my phone sorted out and whatever else we do later on you guys will find out Here it comes down We just came out of what was the shop called? The plumbing shop? Plumbing supplies. Plumbing supplies. And they were advertising BTC top ups, but we thought that they would have the SIM card there, which they do not. So they directed us to another store. So we're heading there now. And hopefully they have what we need. So yeah. What do you think about this camera? Is it live? Yeah, it's live, it's recording, it's recording. God, it looks so clean. <laughs> yeah, now you don't really look horrid. Who knows, maybe we can get some decent cereal later on. BTC prepaid, thanks for calling. Let's have some credit here, okay? You're going... Thank you. Okay, have a good day. Thank you. Set she up here. Um, no. The card number. Hold on, give me a second. I'm thinking now. Five dollars is on yours. So you need you for a month. I could send. Four two one five seven. All right. Hold on. Let me do this. Yay! Weird, right? Talking hmm? to a camera or showing the camera. Oh, that's on still. Yeah, it's on. Oh, she should kept my shades on. <laughs> it's I, I, I came bye. right into view. Sure, they don't mind. Oh, hi, bye. I know horrible I mean. See this? This card right here? This card right here. Yeah. You use it on the trains, right? And I paid for one, £21, but I never actually used it to get in. I just walked in. I couldn't find the machine where you put the card in to allow you access to the next train. So, technically, if I didn't pay for this, I could have got on the train for free. Because the woman, she came to check my ticket, mm -hmm. but I instantly engaged in a conversation which had nothing to do with the ticket, and it forgot, you know, she forgot to ask me about the ticket, so she never saw it, and she just walked away. So would you be able to get a refund when you return? No, they're out of date. I don't think that's doable. Um, Who knows? It seemed kind of odd me coming from that terminal. Um, how wacky, or... Oh. It's a great film. What do you think? Hmm? What did you think about the film Batman vs Superman? I enjoyed it. When you look at the comic books, Wonder Woman hates men. Her entire tribe hates men. Are the Amazonians? Yeah. I could tell them. They actually don't like having to confront... Because in, in the film they make it as if they're the protectors of men. But really in the comics, they don't really like men. They kind of did similar in the original series with the Kara, but they had her as a protectress too. And she's tough. And she doesn't open her legs or flirt as easy as they depicted it in the film. Do you remember that scene where she's on the floor and she has her legs wide open and she smiles at that hideous creature? Who would do that? As soon as I saw that, that's a complete betrayal of the character because she would never do she, that to a guy. She did that? Yeah. Everyone noticed it in the cinema. Was it, uh, I mean, like a, a, a defensive pose? Or do you... No. <laughs> no. She got knocked down, legs wide open, well, cheeky smile, you and think, then she got up. I, didn't think that I, I just, I may have just... Her character, it's more modern. She's got the mindset of a woman in the 21st century. Mm. So they're not portraying it properly. It's like Dragon Ball Z movie. I like it's a horny teenager trying to get laid. Whereas right, Dragon Ball Z in the cartoons. Yeah. He's just obsessed about finding a train. But the original Wonder Woman. Canadian dollars. Look at that. It's see-through here. Those of you who are Canadian know what this is and probably not that 
amazed by it, but to see money that has plastic in it that you can see through, to me that's pretty, pretty impressive. And it's cool, I mean look at that image of the spaceman on the back. It feels like Monopoly money, it doesn't feel real. And it's the same with American money. What do you think about Bohemian Gardens? Oh yeah, because it changes, because now I've got your money here. See that there? Doesn't that look a little monopolish as well? Now this looks very bright and colourful. Bright, colourful. The guy looks happy. And that's the first Prime Minister, Sir Lyndon Oscar Pinman. Prime Minister for 25 years. Everything's working. Don't know if you can see that. And now, I've got a ton of messages which I need to sort through. Does it always flood like this? Well, there are places, uh, this because of the, the drainage system. When it rains a lot, the water accumulates. And, um... Playing with the decks, the shifting. Can, can, can you do those like uh, indie shuffle? shuffles? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, I'll show you in a sec. Oh, so tough. Oh, this rain is look like it's going to be all day. Oh, we haven't even gotten back to the fort. I guess we have to do that tomorrow. That's pretty cool. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. I thought it was the same, but it's not. Flour, ginger root, and a syrup in it, flax berry crunch. It's good. I don't, I don't really care about the taste. I'm pretty sure it tastes fine. The ingredients organic spirit wheat, organic raisins, organic mold, molded barley, sea salt, filtered water. Yeah, this might be the healthiest option. Zero saturated fats, zero trans fats. This is like the healthiest, most thought about. Cereal I've ever seen. Wow. Yeah, let's get this. When you to a point where you can teach a trick, a few tricks. Yeah. You know, where I mean, who can I be with that can teach me something? So the one on the left is one we're having. Because it has no syrup in it, it just has cane sugar, which is great. Otherwise, I'll notice that it made me feel sick. So let's put this one back on the shelf. And we'll just keep this one. Or well, you might need two. Grandmothers used to make every time. We don't have that in the UK. Hmm? We don't have that in the UK. You don't? No, Captain Crunch. This is famous. Let's get the unsweetened one just in case. Um, Hi guys. So basically, this is where all the tourists go. This is called Sandy Port. And just over there eating food, and someone's just watching me now vlogging, which is. Kind of awkward, but I just want to show you guys this pond of sorts and all of their boats and their awesome houses. I mean, just check this out. See over there, yellow one, big one. It kind of reminds me of New Orleans. See, this is why I always wanted to go to New Orleans, but it's right here in front of me. Again, it's one of those manifestation perks. Anything you want to see just shows up, and this is a clear example of this. It's kind of tranquil. Too. It's just so peaceful. But yeah, 